While Xactimate can generate a variety of reports, you may find that you only need to send part of an estimate report to the policyholder, a subcontractor, or other interested party. By default, the report includes all line items in the estimate. Adding filters works with any of the reports in the drop-down menu. Before I add any filters, my report for this apartment complex is many pages of line items, including cleaning, drywall, painting, carpet, and more. In my first example, I'm going to create a report to send the demolition crew that shows only what needs to be removed from the property. To show only those specific line items, I will add a report filter. In the reports window, I change the filter option to filtered. To set up my filter, I click the edit button. In this case, it makes the most sense to filter by line item category. I change the category option from all to select, and then choose the desired category from the drop-down list below. Now, I'll apply the filter. The filtered report has shortened, showing only items where DMO, demolition, has been marked for the removal. This same process can also be applied to filter by multiple categories at once. In this case, I have the same subcontractor replacing the drywall and doing the painting, and I want to provide them with a report with just those items. Reopen the Filter Line Items window with the Edit button. In the Category dropdown, use the Control key to select multiple categories at once. If you accidentally click on the wrong category or need to deselect one, Control clicking on a selected category will remove it from the selection. Click Apply Now to save the filter. Note that only paint and drywall items appear on the report. Report filters can also be added for specific coverage types or specific dates that line items were added to the estimate. In this example, the policyholder has recently requested to add new carpet to the entire building instead of just the few damaged rooms, and wants to see how much the new carpet is estimated to cost. I'll add a date filter by clicking Add Line. Then, I'll select a date from the dropdown and choose the date from the calendar. I'm choosing the day before I added the line items to the estimate. The drop-down in the middle lets you choose how to filter. Greater than means dates after the chosen date, less than would mean dates before, and equals would mean only on that specific day. The filtered report shows only items added after the specific date. And now, you can use report filters to help streamline communication regarding specific portions of an estimate or job.